It has been a day of celebrations and remembering. Right now, the crowds are gathering for a vigil in George Floyd Square in Minneapolis as the world marks one year since he was killed by Officer Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer who knelt on his neck. BNC's Narissa Knight is there. And, and Narissa, I'm, I'm fascinated because I've been watching you in the commercial breaks. You're talking to a lot of people, and they have a lot to say. Yes, sir. I'm talking to so many people out here, people who were here when George Floyd was murdered, people who were here because something happened to them and it was injustice. I talked to uh, Mayan Burrell, who just got out of prison after spending 19 years, about 19 years. He was put in prison when he was uh, just a young teen and he was wrongfully convicted when evidence was withheld. He came here to meet the people who withheld that evidence and forgave them. And he talked to us on camera. Right now, Dell, we have joining us a man who was here one year ago today when that murder happened to George Floyd. And he's been through so much. Mr. Charles McMillan, sir, how do you feel being here one year later? What's going on inside your heart? I feel blessed being here today because without George, we wouldn't be here like this today. It's a blessing to see everybody coming together and celebrating. You know, it's 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 hard. It's hard for me in a lot of ways because I have to live with this every day. Of waking up, knowing that what I experienced here on Third in Chicago, and thinking about my mom. You know, but only right there. This is a good day. This is a blessed day. You know, and all people got to do is look around, see what George did. And a lot of people are saying, Mr. Charles, what you did was so brave. You put yourself on the line. You got on the stand and you helped his family and everybody get justice. Yes, yes, and that was part of that was part of my duty to help help everyone. And you know, and what people don't realize, I helped myself also because I didn't want anything to do with this. But that's been our problem all our life. We don't want to go against the police. We've been running. Well, this was the time that I wouldn't run no more. And we appreciate you Thank for you. it, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thank Charles you McMillan, time. for joining us. We appreciate you. And many people are here. They have stories to tell and so much to share in the name of George Floyd. Reporting live from George Floyd Square in Minneapolis, I'm Narissa Knight from BNC. Back to you in the studio. Narissa, I was watching that interview, and I was waiting to hear what he wanted to say, and he answered my question. I wanted to know if you could have done something what would you have done? And he answered it by saying, I took on the police officer inside the courtroom. Narissa Knight Force in Minneapolis. Narissa, as always, thank you for being with us tonight.